favorite artist from the website, Oliver Gal, Katie Hirschfeld. Bella's in the background barking. I'm so excited because she is actually a native Jersey girl, but currently lives in the state of Florida, where I feel like everyone in Oliver Gal lives, right? Yeah, for the most part. Yep, and she, you guys gotta see this, designed every piece in my foyer that I purchased on Oliver Gal, and she randomly was flying up to see her family and decided to stop by to check out her artwork that I blew up to mass size. And I wanna know everything behind every piece, starting with the first piece I ever bought. Okay, so this one is called Modern Rebel. Um, I was sort of always the black sheep of my family, so Same. it represents me kind of in a way. And you know, it's just edgy, funky, but always in all of my pieces, it's a strong woman, female. Do you have like these girls kind of remind me of celebrities? Yeah. Do you have like someone in mind that you kind of pick inspiration from? Because I don't know, like to me, that's like a little bit Rihanna. So it's funny, they're all composite. So it's like different lips, a different yeah. nostril, different eyes this way. I can never get sued. <laughs> yeah, same. So I that's how it. that all comes. But yeah, this is, I think, Zendaya, Rihanna, and somebody <gasps> else. Yeah, and a yes. little bit of a, now a I cartoon see it. lip. Yeah, so it's all, they're all different. Okay, so this one, bubblegum one, is my daughter's favorite. And it's yeah. probably because there's bubblegum in it. Yeah. So this one was going, um, this was a little bit Disney oriented. Yeah, I had just gotten back from Disney for my niece and nephew's, I think, fourth birthday. So I had this fun, young vibe, really, in the back of my head during this one. It's very, it actually reminds me of very, like, 50s Disney colors, too, pin up. Like the hair, it's just very funky and fun. And my mom has a picture of her when she was really little. This that age, and it looks just like her. Yep, the hair oh. and everything. <laughs> All right, last but not least on this side. So, this is like me after a night at the Jersey Shore. <laughs> contemplating yeah, life. The thinker, this is the female <laughs> thinker. <laughs> like what did I, where did life go wrong? Um, and this one was just a little bit more mellow. You know, I was probably feeling a lot more calm in this one than. But she's like, to them. me, like one of the most edgiest pieces. Yeah. Like she's, she's just. She's definitely badass, for so sure. Badass. Um, but she's just, you know, in a deep moment, <laughs> contemplating <laughs> everything. That was my, Modern Rebel was actually my original favorite, and but until I saw this one. Oh yeah, on the left? Yes. Yes, so this one is really all about how much I miss New York and Aww. the North, really. Now that I'm in Miami, so. It's a different vibe. Yeah, it's like, like a little grungy with the street art elements. Um, you miss coming back? Yeah. That's my <laughs> one thing, like everyone knows I want to move to Florida, I want to move by Disney, I want to like work in Disney. Yeah, it's the But best. like everyone says when you leave New York, New Jersey, yeah. you can't get used to their vibe. It's very different. You know, it's not as, there's not as much as a history and a, a grit to mm -hmm. Florida. There's no real grit. So this is very grit. That's your grit. grit. Yeah. All right, and then the last two. Um, this one is sort of the all-American girl. Um, it's says heroes don't always wear capes, so it's just another strong female. Obviously, there's a theme. Um, so you're empowered by females, obviously, I can yeah. tell. All of your work, majority, stems yeah. from female empowerment. Yes, exactly, um, and sort of, you know, being individual and, yeah. Obsessed. <laughs> and she reminds me of someone too, and I can't pinpoint it. So I know that she's um, Lily Rose, Johnny Depp's daughter. <gasps> yeah, and then I don't know where the eyes came from, but the background face and the lips aren't hers either. So that's probably me. Oh. Um, and this one is, you know, sort of a David Bowie tribute. I love Lightning. that. Lightning, yeah. You're a fan? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> okay. So now that you get to see a couple of her pieces that are my favorite from Oliver Gal, 
I actually, all right, so this is like kind of like the long winded story of it. So way back in the day, my dad used to be like a part-time piano salesman and deliverer. Oh, cool. Way back. So uh, sometimes he would like let me deliver pianos with him and like get Aww. to see everything and he loved Yamahas and I always said, you know, one day I'm gonna own a piano, like someone's gonna deliver one to my house, but I want it to be different from the rest. So, last week, I finally got my first piano. And I'm like, dumb excited. But, I didn't want just like a normal piano. I wanted it white, like my house, and then I wanted a little Katie on it. So, <laughs> I sent Katie a bunch of like random visuals of like lips and how can we do it, what can we do, and I said whatever, it, I, it's just gonna be perfect because I'm putting it in your hands. Mm -hmm. And we got the decals last night from my friend Tommy and we are going to put that bad boy on my piano. Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Perfect. okay, so new piano, new decal. The inspo out of the for this was me sending her 500 images and be like, please put a Katie spin on this. <laughs> so it was almost like a collaboration. Yes, but yeah. the first round, I was like, no, that's perfect, let's keep that. Which is so refreshing. Yeah, <laughs> and, and nice. was, the only sad part is there were little, there were drips, but my friend Tommy cut them out. Mm -hmm. All right, Tommy. <laughs> and, so neither of us are professional decal um, installers, is the word or something, <laughs> so. So it's been a few days. I actually let the decal settle and majority of the bubbles are out. I was low key nervous because I was like, oh my God, why are there so many bubbles? Like this is not how it's supposed to be. But it's true, if you give it a day or two, they smooth out and this is legit my favorite piece of the house. Sorry, Katie, even though I love all your stuff out there, this might be my favorite. But don't forget to check out our work. Go to elevergal.com for all the other art that I have throughout the house. I am obsessed. Subscribe, comment below. I love you guys. Till next time.